What is up guys, it is Nick, and it is time to take our final look at Sunday's MLB, MLB, oh my gosh, NFL slate for week four. Still have baseball on the mind, but uh, that's all done. That was the last, today was the last day I played. I only played one contest. Yesterday was really the last day I played baseball. Uh, I'll do some playoff stuff. Maybe I'll make a video on playoff uh, baseball because content for playoff baseball is usually pretty light. Uh, so maybe I'll do some videos on that. But let's hop into this. We'll start off at the quarterback. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit of strategy, both for GPPs as well as cash games. I have two darts in the 333. I'm not sure if I'm going to play two different lineups or just play one lineup and with both with both entries. But uh, I will be throwing two darts at the 333 contest this week. I played it every week. I think I'm only one for three in it, uh, but week one was a crush in the 333, so still made money off of the 333. But I will talk a little bit more about that because I've thought about a little bit more GPP options as we've gone through the week. So let's get going here. We'll start off at quarterback. I'm pretty much crossing off all the way till Phillip Rivers. I like Brady, but I don't think it's worth the spend up. I like Rivers at 6,500, and if you can get there, I like him. Um, I also like Deshaun Watson and his rushing floor, uh, but I don't think you need to go with either of them. Uh, I think he can save the money and come down even farther. I like Ryan Fitzpatrick. I think he's contrarian. I do really like him for GPPs. You should get him near 1% or 2% overship since the Bears' defense will be, end up being chalky. Uh, Matt Ryan I really like this week. Um, I've liked him pretty much every week except week one, uh, but the last two weeks against the Panthers and the Saints, played him both weeks um and it has turned out pretty well playing Matt Ryan both weeks the one week he rushed for two touchdowns which really helped the week he had the four touchdowns uh with two rushing and then last week he had the explosion for five touchdowns um it's not a great Houston defense or not oh my gosh it's not a great Cincinnati defense but I'm not sure I'm expecting him to get over 300 and mul and high amount of touchdowns again um no on Wentz. The next option is I really like Russell Wilson in GPPs. He should have Doug Baldwin back this week, a uh, target he loves. And if nothing else, Baldwin can play a decoy uh, and shade have coverage shaded towards him. Uh, moving down even farther, Andy Dalton. Looks like he'll probably end up being my cash game quarterback. 5400 is a very fair price, and I really like that for him. Um, there's not really anybody else down here that I have any interest in. I don't love Baker this week. It's his first real start. It's on the road. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll be playing Baker this week. Moving on to running back. We got a couple of things to talk about here. Chalk Alvin Kamara week at 9,600. I think there is merit to fade him. If you fade him, you can slam in, uh, Melvin Gordon, Barkley, and Zeke all into one lineup. Um, I won't be doing that. I will be playing Alvin Kamara. Uh, I think he's a lock. I'll put in my absolute locks of the week into the lineup. I'm not going to build a whole lineup. Um, like I have said before, almost every video from now on, don't necessarily play the lineup that I create. It's just conceptualized, and it's just walking through the process I do when I build a lineup. Okay. Melvin Gordon, 8,300. He's probably my favorite running back out of the group of three here. But it really just comes down to how much salary you have remaining. Uh, I like all three of them based on salary. I love David Johnson this week, but at 6,600, I don't think I have a spot for him on my team. Um, by the time I slam in one of these three, Kamara, I just don't think I'll have enough for David Johnson. There is... A very low average chance I do jam in David Johnson and slam in a better wide receiver, but I think I'm short of the wide receivers I want if I drop down, so I don't think I'll end up doing it because I, I think I'm like $300 short in my lineup of the wide receivers that I'd want to get. Uh, moving on down, lock play of the week, especially on DraftKings, Gio Bernard. We talked about this yesterday. The... Uh, Atlanta Falcons have given up 40 targets in the past two weeks to running backs, uh, with 14 of the 17 being completed in week two. Uh, McCaffrey had 14 receptions on 15 targets, and then CJ Anderson had two targets he did not catch. In week three, Kamara had 15 receptions on 20 targets. 
Uh, Zach Line had two targets, two receptions, and two yards off of that, and then or six yards, and then Williams had one, one, and one off of that. Uh, I think Gio Bernard, absolute lock of the week. Like him this week, or love him this week. Um, we'll definitely be jamming him in. Uh, moving on down here, I do really like Tevin Coleman at 5,900. He had kind of a low output game in the last one, 15 rushes for 33 yards. I expect it not to be at the 6, but maybe 4. If he gets 15 at 4, that's 60 yards. If he can fun- punch it into the end zone. Um, let's see here. So 60 yards is 6 points. If he gets 4 receptions for 20 yards, we'll say 3 receptions for 15 yards. We're at 10.5 if he can crack the end zone at 16.5. He'd be a little bit short of value, but as a projection base, I like that for Tevin Coleman. Um, I think I think Coleman... Um, I think Coleman is a good play this week at 5,900. Matt Breida remains questionable. Did we get any update today? We did not get an update today on Matt Breida's status. Uh, he'll be a game time decision on Sunday. If he does go, uh, I like him this week. Carlos Hyde got an insane amount of usage last year with, uh, CJ Beathard. I would assume Breida will get the same amount of work with Beathard. Moving on down the list. If Corey Clement is out, which he's listed as questionable, still no updates today, um, I would think Jay Ajayi close would be not a lock, but because the Titans, I like the Titans defense, but he would be a solid play at 5,500. Carlos Hyde at 5,500, I like him this week. I will not be playing him just because I think people will chase the touchdowns that he scored last week, so I am not going to be on him. James White. I think he'll have a big role uh, this week. Um, Brady said, had a quote talking about how he thinks they need to get James White more touches. Uh, I think James White, you know, not an explosion game or anything, but I think he'll have a, a decent game this week uh, against Miami. Lamar Miller, I still like Miller, but I don't think he's he's necessary this week. I don't think you need the 5K. I think there are better options. Chalk of the week, I'm not sure I'm going to have him. Uh, is Sony Michelle. Um, I just don't trust Patriots running back. Sony Michelle would have to run for like 100 yards and two scores to really kill me. He's going to get a couple of targets, maybe two receptions. We'll, we'll project him at, t- even if he gets two receptions for 25 yards, we'll say 30, two receptions for 30, a, a, bu- a buck 20, we'll give him a buck 20 and a tu- and two touchdowns, okay? So the buck 20, that's worth 15, two touchdowns, 27, and the receptions, two for 30, 32 points if he scores 32 points I still don't think you're dead like I I think it hurts you a lot but I don't think you're dead uh if he scores 32 especially if Kamara and Gio go off while they'll both while Gio and Kamara will both be chalky I don't think they'll be like so uber chalk that you couldn't make up a Sony Michelle big game so that's my opinion on that and I think that's the last thing that I wanted to talk about I I guess there was like a 3,000 let's see if I can remember there was like a 3,100 running back that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Kyle Juszczyk. If um, if Breida sits, uh, I'd have some interest in playing Juszczyk in GPPs at 3,100. Moving on to wide receiver. Scroll on back up to the top. Michael Thomas, top option. I don't think I'll have enough for him on DraftKings to slam him in. Um, 9,100 is a high price to ask. And by the time you put in Kamara and three of the, or one of the three top running backs after Kamara. I just, you just don't have enough for Michael Thomas. Uh, Odell Beckham, I've liked him more and more as the week has gone on. I still think he'll get shadowed by Marcus Lattimore for a handful of the game, but he should see a little bit of separation from Lattimore in the slot from time to time, so I'd be interested to see. I'd be interested in Odell Beckham. I like DeAndre Hopkins, but... The way the Colts play with their weird dink and dunk offense, they kind of chew the clock and limit offense, so I probably won't play DeAndre Hopkins at 8,400 over the other options. Uh, I love Julio Jones and GPPs. I will have a GPP lineup with Julio on it. Um, I don't think he's going to sneak his way into my cash lineup unless I play Sony Michelle, which I don't think I'm playing Sony Michelle, so I don't think he'll creep in. Um, Mike Evans, I like against Chicago. Uh, probably the only Bucks receiver that I'd really want to play. 
Uh, I don't think I... Like, DJX is always in play for GPPs, but I don't know. I just don't love him. I like AJ Green this week. 7500 kind of a mid-range price here. Him and Jarvis Landry, I like both of them. Um, I don't think they'll necessarily crack my cash game lineup, but I do love them for GPPs. Uh, I think I have a Julio, AJ Green, Jarvis Landry GPP lineup that I'm going to be rolling out um, that I really like. Uh, I also like Will Fuller at 6,800. I think the targets are real. I don't think the touchdown equity is real, but I think the targets are real for him. Um, let's see. Moving on down here, I said I do like Deshaun Jackson. I do like Amari Cooper this week at 5,600. Probably won't get there in any of my lineups, but I do like Amari Cooper as a GPP flyer. Moving on down the list here, we get to the chalk wide receivers of the week. Tyler Boyd, Sterling Shepard, and Calvin Ridley. My favorite out of this group is Sterling Shepard, then Tyler Boyd, and then Calvin Ridley. Sterling Shepard sees about 66% of his snaps in the slot. Uh, the Saints lost Patrick Robinson, their slot corner. Uh, he'll also, when he matches out on, outside, he'll get, all, he'll get um, Ken Crawley. And so... Sterling Shepard should be in for a big game, especially with Evan Ingram out. And what should be a high-scoring game that they'll have to throw to keep up. Uh, Calvin Ridley, I love Calvin Ridley season-long going forward. But at 4,900 with all the chalk on him, I just can't do it. I, I, I think they try to move Julio around, and I think, I think uh, Calvin Ridley gets a lot of William Jackson. And so I'm just going to go ahead and roll with Sterling Shepard over him. I like Tyler Boyd this week. Uh, they should try to shadow coverage to A.J. Green, take him away. Opens up a lot for Tyler Boyd underneath uh, and over the middle. So I do like Tyler Boyd a lot this week at 4,600. If Randall Cobb, who is currently questionable and will be evaluated before the game tomorrow, happens to sit, I will be playing Geronimo Allison most likely. He should slide into a more predominant role, and I really like him for tomorrow's slate if he does happen to if Cobb does sit out if he doesn't then I don't like him if Josh Gordon sits out I like Philip Dorsett against Miami uh, Miami should shade coverage to take away Gronk uh, Chris Hogan has not been involved all that much I think you know obviously he's going to be involved more than he has but uh, I like the Dorsett targets at 4500 if Gordon's out I'll probably take a GPP flyer on Dorsett I've liked him every week can't go away now Quincy Inunua, I like him. Jermaine Curse and um, uh, Robbie Anderson should see Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye. Uh, Quincy Inunua should get the slot targets, and uh, it's kind of not the Jags' weakness, but it's one way to that uh, the, the Jags don't take away or the underneath slant uh, slot routes. Antonio Callaway, uh, I like him more in FanDuel where he's the minimum. I'll probably save my exposure to him for FanDuel where I will certainly be playing him. Uh, other than that, there's not much I like down here. You could take a flyer on Mohamed Sanu, uh, but I don't love it. Uh, Richard Higgins, I think you could take a flyer on him as well, but don't obviously love that as well. Take a huge flyer on John Ross. Hope he catches like a 75-yard bomb. It's always possible. There aren't any real locks at wide receiver for me, but we'll plop in Sterling Shepard as the lock. Um, but I think if you love Calvin Ridley more than Sterling Shepard, I don't blame you if you go if you go that route. At tight end, there's not many options here for me. I like Gronk. If you have the 7K or if you're looking to be contrarian in GPPs, I love Gronk. Uh, Kittle, I love Kittle. Um, Beathard loves to jump the ball off. If Kittle runs a bunch of short routes, he should get a peppered with a bunch of targets. Tyler Eifert, I think he's more of a play on FanDuel than he is on DK, but I do love him at 3,800 over here. Chalk of the week, got to be the lock for me at tight end, is Eric Ebron. Eric Ebron coming in at $3,600. Um, just too cheap. He got 11 targets last week, and he got three reds. The, the more important thing is, is he got three red zone targets, was unable to hold any of them down, and he had a disappointing week, so maybe he's not as chalky as he should be. He let people down. He will be chalk. I would expect him to be 40 to 60%, but he should be close to 100% in cash games. I mean, the targets are just so secure that I think he'll, he's just, he just has to be in your lineups tomorrow. Um, I like Njoku um, with Baker, but I probably won't play him this week. I'll probably just hold off and save that for another week. 
Um, Ricky Seals Jones, if you need a real punt play at tight end, if you need the 700 savings off of Ebron, I do like Ricky Seals Jones. Moving on to defense, um, I don't have too much to say about defense here. I like the Jags, the Chargers. Um, let's see. Jags, Chargers, Seahawks. And then all the way down here, you can get the Bears at 2,600. They'll be the Mega Chalk. I think you just play them as the block. I think that's what I'll do. I'll probably just end up playing the Bears as a block here. I like the Titans more for the $300 savings. But I think I'll just eat the Chalk at defense and not let myself get beat by the Bears defense if they happen to, you know, get a pick six or some stupid crap like that. I really don't want to get beat by something dumb like that. So I'll probably just block and play them, but I I do like the Titans more. It's kind of a hard scenario. I really like the Titans, and usually there's not a huge opportunity cost at defense. I mean, usually if you, you know, if you play the Bears, or if you play the Titans with the Bears chalk, you know, the really, the most you can probably forfeit is like 12 points if the, if the Bears pitch it. Because you can't really project defensive touchdowns. So if you just project the Bears to get a couple of sacks and maybe a fumble and they score 14 and the Titans give up, um, if they score zero, we'll say, that's a 14-point swing. Usually that's all you can expect. But obviously, like I said, you can't project defensive touchdowns. So if the Bears score a projected touchdown and score 20 as a chalk and you don't have them, it's just going to be a nightmare of a day. So that's why I'm saying probably just eat the chalk and play the Bears defense. While I, But I do kind of like Ryan Fitzpatrick, so I don't know what I'm doing yet with that. I don't know what I'm doing at defense yet. I don't think I need the $300 off the Bears defense, so I'll probably just eat the chalk. But there is merit to, there is merit to fading them because opportunity cost on defense is so minuscule usually. But that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll be back with the Sunday night showdown video tomorrow and the Monday night showdown video on Monday or tomorrow night, depending on if they get it out in time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.